Hi, this is Dave Hilgendorf, and welcome back to Wednesday Work Advice, episode number 10. Today, I'm going to ponder on a verse from Scripture, Proverbs 6, 16 through 19. Um, and my question I'm going to ask is for us to think about how we can avoid doing things at work that God hates. Uh, I, this is an interesting, I've always thought this was an interesting Scripture in Proverbs, where it, it lists seven things that God hates that are an abomination to him. I've always thought, wow, this is something we really should pay attention to. And so I'm just going to go through this list briefly and talk about how we might think of these in terms of our work. The first one I referenced in an earlier episode where uh, I talked about the proud look, that we should be humble at our work, that we should um, not think too highly of ourselves. We should think about others more than ourselves and uh, and have a humble spirit um, just in how we go about our day. The second one is a lying tongue. We should never lie. That should just be a non-negotiable that we don't uh, twist the truth or whatever phrase we want to use, a white lie. They're all lies. Uh, we shouldn't omit the truth. We should um, fess up right away if we've, if we've made a mistake. Um, if we're talking about our uh, product, whether we're in sales or whatever our job is, uh, we should be honest in how we represent uh, the truth to everyone we deal with. Uh, third is hands that shed innocent blood. How do we apply that to our daily work? Well, I think we can do harm to others with our words uh, and how we treat others, and I think that that would apply here. Um, a heart that devises wicked plans and then feet that are swift in running to evil are similar. Uh, I mean, we should do a gut check on our heart at work. Are we? Uh, do we have a pure heart in, in how we are approaching our work day as well as the people around us? Uh, or is there uh, evil in our, in our actions and in our heart? Um, just something to think about. A false witness who speaks lies and one who sows discord among brethren are the last two. So we should not be gossiping about other people at work and we should strive to be a source of peace among our coworkers. Uh, we shouldn't be uh, talking bad about someone or, or um, um, doing anything that might create uh, ill will or discord among the people that we work with. We should try to, try to bring people together as much as is possible, as, as the Bible says. Um, so those are my quick thoughts. You might have a different take on this, but I just thought that was a passage that always just struck me as powerful, as something that is worth paying attention to. And I just thought I'd take a minute to try to apply it specifically to the workplace. So uh, thanks a lot, and we'll see you next time.